<coughs> Welcome back, guys. Told you I was going to do a uh, build series on the Shapoko Reborn rebuild. Um, after a real good cleaning, I realized this machine is practically brand new. Uh, I talked to my coworker that I got it from, and uh, he said he only used it a handful of times, and it shows because when I first got it, it was so full of dust and uh, wood particles that it looked dirty and just, uh, you know, built up with yuck muck stuff. So I cleaned everything, all the bearings and wheels and everything, uh, the slides, and it looks basically brand new. Um, but I don't care about the V bearings because you already know that in the first video I did, I've talked about how I just hate hate V bearings. I just I just don't like the CNC with them just because you can't do a lot of stuff where you're going to get stuff on these slides and it's going to jump or skip, stall, whatever. So, um, like I promised, I'm going to do a, a series on it. So my first uh, option, because I got the machine so cheap, you don't have to go so close. Um, I purchased these slides. These are 15 millimeter uh, rail carriages, and um, these are made in Japan. So I mean, they're okay. They're going to work. They're narrow, 15 millimeter, so they'll fit. If you look on the slide here, there's a there's a track that runs across, and uh, they'll be able to mount right to that with the T nuts behind there perfectly. They'll uh, they'll go in there. It'll 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 line up there perfect. And these are these will give me two feet of travel on the uh, x-axis here I'm sorry the y and um, I'm gonna have one on each side um, it's not gonna need any more any more than that I'm gonna leave these maker slide on here on one on each side just like this um, because I'm, I'm not gonna put a whole lot of money into it as far as the slides the maker slide I'm gonna leave it I'm not gonna buy uh, 80 20 extrusion only for this these bars for the front and back and for the X because I'm gonna make it a little bit wider because I'm going to order, I got I got a pair of these now, and I'm going to order another pair of two feet to go across on the X. So by using these, you're going to eliminate your bearings. This is going to be so simple. So I'm just going to redesign a whole new plate because this plate's only like 090 thickness, these side plates here. So I'm going to get rid of those plates. I'm going to make this like a quarter inch, 60-61. And uh, I'm going to have them mount on the side just like that, but, you know, in, inside, inside of the uh, sides, the gantry sides there. So that'll be nice and sturdy and rigid. And these things are, you know, steel. So I mean, they're between that, the combination of that and the maker slide, it's going to be real stiff. And then same thing with the, with the X and the Z. I'm going to get rid of the wheels on everything. Um, and then what I'm going to do at first, I'm going to leave the belts on. Since I'm not using the wheels, I think the belts will be fine, especially with the NEMA 23s. I think the belts will be fine pulling it back and forth on the X axis and uh, the Y axis, no problem. Um, the Z I'm not even worried about because I, when I get done, none of this flex will be here either. And, um, you know, I have the router over here like you saw in the first video. I have a commercial uh, type router. It's 25 millimeter ball screw, 25 millimeter uh, rail carriages. So that thing is, has zero flex. The rigidity is through the roof. So um, I'm going to make this a, a smaller version like that. Um, and it will be able to do aluminum easy. There, there's going to be very minimal flex in that z axis so um but yeah so i purchased these uh japan rails rail carriages and that, that's how i'm going to mount these so this is just video two showing what i'm going to do here um i'm going to do a couple videos in between actually getting these mounted because what i got to do is i got to redesign this plate here and um get it mounted so i'm going to i'll do a step by step i'm going to leave this on redesign it to fit these and then start from there just so i can do tests with the belts to make sure the belts can handle these slides back and forth and, and there's no there's a little resistance on these but these are dirty they've been sitting i'm sure they're not you know they're from the factory so they're full of gook and you know they keep them greased up so they don't rust out when you when you're uh when you buy them so um, i'll get those on and then i'll do a test on the belts i'm gonna run the uh i'm gonna run a gecko 540 g540 on here um but i'm gonna test with a tv65 one of those cheap chinese ones just just to get it for mach 3 going and a UC100 for the USB. Um, or I might do a smoothie board. Uh, that's that's going to be the later option. But um, I want to try to get it, just get it going for now. But yeah, since I, you know, I'm going to put these slides on here, it's going to be very rigid. Um, and I won't have to worry about the wheels. And I wanted, I wanted to do another system a little bit smaller, but it's actually going to end up being the same size as the other one, just smaller uh, extrusion, basically. But it won't, I mean, this is double extrusion on these here, so it's two maker slides. But it's just that the wheels don't 
you know, don't do well on the Z. So I know I'm rambling on, but uh, that's that's the that's the idea I'm going to do here. The, those slides are going to bolt right onto the side here. I'm going to redesign the plate so it fits on the outside, and then that'll be the x-axis done. And then uh, I'm sorry, the y-axis with the gantry. And also, I'm going to make this taller. Everything's going to be a little bit taller because right now it's probably only getting, you know, maybe five or so inches of travel for the Z. So I'm going to make it a little bit taller so I can, I'm going to minimum, I want to get six inches and I might even go taller. But um, yeah, so that's where I'm at now. Shaboko Reborn Rebuild um, Part 2 with the rail carriages and the concept of what I'm doing. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and uh, please follow. And if you got any suggestions, let me know. But uh, I think you know where I'm going now with this since I'm going to get rid of all the bearings, the V-bearings. It's going to be a simple machine. Like I said, because I got this machine very cheap, um, it's worth putting a little bit of money in it. These slides aren't that much money anyways. I mean, I'll probably have around three, 300 or so into it with the slides and the controller. So I'm not even worried about it. But I'm just hoping that the belt system will work enough to drag these slides back and forth. Because there is a little bit more resistance than with the wheels. But, you know, they're, they're not even broken in yet or anything. So thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up. Appreciate it. Like. And I'll... Uh, Talk to you later.